Good morning, good almost afternoon, everyone. Uh, Nikki Torres here in the 40s now, First Alert Weather Center. I was filling in for Mark Peterson this morning, and I am still filling in for him for the rest of the week, so you get me this week. He should be back by next week, though. It is Wednesday, July 29th. This is your midday web weather check on KXLY.com. Welcome to the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. It is currently 85 degrees in Spokane, 89 Moses Lake, low 70s over in Seattle, just before 11.30 in the morning for these temperatures here. It is already 91 degrees over in Mo uh, or over in uh, Tri-Cities, rather. We are expecting pretty hot conditions for today, but not as hot as what we're expecting for tomorrow. We are going to be in the 90s here in Spokane, as well as Coeur d'Alene. Some areas, they are going to see triple digits for today. Some watches and warnings happening for today as well. An excessive heat warning, this one was added in um, either late last night or early this morning. I have to double check on that, but brand new warning. This one goes right down the middle of the state. You can see everything in that pink shaded area right there. This is going to go until the end of the week, so Friday evening at 8 p.m. Uh, the reason for this one, all of the cities that are right under that pink shaded area, those areas are going to see some pretty hot conditions triple digits. Some of these cities, OMAC, Moses Lake, Tri-Cities, they've been seeing triple digits all week so far, so nothing new for them, but they did put in this excessive heat warning. That is from the National Weather Service office uh, over in Spokane. Now, you can see that we are still under a heat advisory. That one actually was extended because the difference is uh, we've had some revisions in the forecast over the past couple of days. It's actually a little bit warmer than uh, we had initially forecasted for earlier this week, so instead of just Thursday being our day where we see triple digits, we're actually expecting uh, low 100s for both Thursday and Friday. So that is why the heat advisory got dragged over to Friday. Initially, it was supposed to expire on Thursday. So just keep that in mind. Um, with everything, heat safety is a big thing right now. We need to all keep in mind um, that we have to take care of each other, ourselves, and kind of look out for one another. Um, heat stroke, heat exhaustion, that is very common um, during temperatures like this. Some people just get distracted and uh, they don't realize they're getting dehydrated. Um, things like that. So make sure you, one, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. I guarantee you go outside for in a few minutes, go walk on the sidewalk um, around your house or go downtown and walk around. You will work up a sweat pretty quickly, especially during this afternoon when we are going to experience high 90s in Spokane. Another thing, wear sunscreen. We are expecting a lot of sun, sunshine over the next few days as we have been seeing over the past couple days for this work week. So go ahead and wear some sunscreen, SPF 30 or above, as Mark likes to remind everyone. Uh, you do not want to end up looking like a lobster heading into the weekend. I know it's hump day, it's Wednesday, but you want to be comfortable and uh, not sunburned by the time it hits the weekend when we're actually expecting a little bit of a cool down. A couple other things. Um, look out for one another. You know, if you have any elderly neighbors, uh, be sure to check on them, especially with everything going on right now with COVID-19. Um, just, you know, give a little knock on the door or give them a phone call if you have their phone number. Just make sure that they're okay. I know not everyone has air conditioning. Maybe you have an electric fan that you can loan them or bring over some cold water, things like that. But obviously keeping distance and wearing a mask and things like that. Earlier this week, I was talking about how, um, you know, when before you leave your house, you should have water, sunscreen, um, usually it's phone, wallet, keys. Let's make it phone, wallet, keys, sunscreen, um, some water, as well as a mask. Just remember that you have those things uh, for this week as you head out the door. Really important things that you should have anyway, but um, that is uh, pretty much for the watches and warnings. Also, if you have pets, pet owners, please be mindful of the pavement um, before you walk your dog or your cat outside. I've seen cats outside. Um, just kind of keep in mind that the pavement is a lot hotter um, than it typically is, especially with these conditions for this afternoon. So if you have a trail or some grass that you can walk your pet outside instead, or if you just walk them early in the morning and later at night, the temperatures won't be as hot. That goes for any physical activity. So over the next few days, if you like, like me, I like to run outside. If you want to work out outside, if you have any yard work that you have to do, really anything that you want to do outside, if you can get it done early in the morning or later that evening, it is best so that you don't do it during the hottest part of the day, which is going to be pretty hot. So I highly suggest going that route. And also, please, we put this out a lot, but please remember to never leave any pets or kids in the car for any amount of time. I, I don't care if you're just running a quick errand. The car gets so hot so fast um, during conditions like this. And 
here's kind of what I'm talking about when I say these conditions. 102 Moses Lake, 101 for OMAC, 102 for Lewiston. That is why those areas have an excessive heat warning for today, for tomorrow, as well as for Friday until 8 p.m. Here in Spokane, we're not going to hit triple digits quite yet. We have our opportunity for that tomorrow and Friday, but for today, 97 degrees. That's pretty darn close to 100. 94 in Coeur d'Alene. They're a little bit cooler over towards the water. You can see right here, tomorrow's high temperatures. This is the this is the problem day. This is when we're all really going to have to crank up the air conditioning if you have it, if you're lucky enough to have an AC unit, or if you have um, electric fans, go ahead and prepare them. I know a lot of people sometimes uh, wait until conditions like this before they bring them out of the basement, out of the garage or storage. Bring them on out because it's going to be 108 for Moses Lake, 108 Wenatchee. We've, we've got 102 here in Spokane. Um, and the triple digits are going to last until Friday. We are expecting 101 in Spokane on Friday. Coeur d'Alene, you're going to get really, really close to triple digits. We'll see if you actually hit. Um, we have it in as 99 right now, but there is a good potential that you could be right up there in the low 100s like everyone else. Here's that temperature trend. So we are in the high 90s for today, and then we're going to be in the 100s, the low 100s for Thursday and Friday. Come Saturday and Sunday, this is when we see a temperature drop off, and we, we've been joking it's a cool down because 93, 92 isn't that cool, but comparatively to the 100s, low 90s will feel a lot cooler. Um, than what we've been experiencing for the earlier part of this work week. Come Monday, Tuesday for next work week, we should see some 80s back in the forecast. And a fun fact, average high temperature in Spokane this time of year, it is 86 degrees. So that 85 right there on Tuesday, that is uh, almost spot on. So we're getting closer back to some of that uh, average conditions. So here is the, let me get to it. Here is the satellite radar loop. You can see that we do have some cloud cover. A lot of it is shifting from south to north, but um, a lot of that is burning off as the afternoon comes on. So blue skies, clear skies mostly um, for your afternoon. And that's pretty much a trend that we've been seeing throughout this past uh, few days. So if you see some cloud cover in the morning, mainly it's been for Spokane, some scattered cloud cover. Um, a lot of that burns off as we head into the lunch hour, so just keep that in mind there. Upper 90s for today, and then we are getting into the low 100s on Thursday and Friday. Those will be our hottest days in the forecast. And then we are going to see some low 90s for Saturday and Sunday, the quote-unquote cool down once again. And then into Monday and Tuesday to start off the next work week. We will be in the upper 80s down to the low 80s, and it looks like we should start to get closer to the average this time of year of 86 degrees. But a quick note, we are going to have some pretty warm nights because Thursday into Friday, it is near 70 in most areas for the overnight low temperature. So again, when I mentioned the uh, air conditioning units, bring them out of storage, electric fans. Um, if you guys have cooling pads, that would be great for your pets um, so that um, even if you don't have air conditioning or an electric fan to kind of help cool them down, you can uh, kind of pop that in the living room or the kitchen or wherever um, you're keeping your pets and they can just kind of cool down on a cooling mat. Also, um, please make sure that they also have enough water um, to help kind of cool them down. We see a lot of dogs panting this time of year during the summer, so we want to make sure that everyone is hydrated, us included, our pets included, um, and just Again, just taking care of ourselves and taking care of one another, checking in. So that is all I have for your midday web weather check. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, again, Mark Peterson is out for the rest of the week. I am here filling in for him, so you'll see me again here tomorrow morning on Good Morning Northwest. Make it a great Wednesday. We are halfway through the work week, folks, and uh, we're going to see some real heat tomorrow and Friday, so prepare yourself. Make it a great Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow morning.